One area that CustomRx has started to focus on for patients is chemotherapy and radiation, and we do know that there's a lot of side effects associated with that, so we have formulated several different products for patients who develop mucositis or esophagitis during times of chemotherapy and radiation. What this is, is an, it's an inflammation of the mucosa lining, which can be in the cheeks, the gums, the tongue, the esophagus, the roof of the mouth, and they're simply blisters that will occur, ulcerations. And so what we have developed are lollipops. We have also have swish and gargles or swish and swallows that patients can do that will alleviate some of that inflammation and pain that they experience. This will allow them to have more ability to eat, um, just daily basis being able to live without all the pain that occurs along the mucosa in the mouth and the, the GI tract. There may be antibiotics or antifungals because patients who are in doing chemotherapy may be more susceptible to infections. So there's a variety of different compounds that we can formulate specifically for each patient. One type of chemotherapy and radiation that patients may experience um, is for colorectal cancer and this is an area where there's mucosa along the rectal area and this can become very inflamed and painful. So we do provide several different creams that patients can apply or ointments that will adhere to the skin. This will allow less irritation when they have bowel movements or when they urinate um, that will not irritate the area, it will protect it. Other areas that we can do for GI health for patients going through GI cancers can be anti nausea medications. Um, they're not able to take oral medications or use suppositories due to the pain and so they can rub a cream on the inside of their wrist and this will get into their system and allow for that nausea relief. Patients most often times will experience chemo-induced neuropathy and this is pain of the nerves or numbness that occurs in the extremities from the chemotherapy. So when they experience this we're able to do a formulation and put different pain medications in, we can help with blood flow to the area if they're experiencing numbness, and we can also help with medications that decrease nerve sensation. So if they are having a lot of nerve pain, this will help topically to reduce that so they're not having to take anything orally. So many patients that are going through chemotherapy and radiation can present with a lot of skin associated side effects. One of those can be irritation and peeling of the hands and the feet. So we do have a gel that we have formulated. The base itself has anti-inflammatory properties and healing properties. Um, we've added medications in that will help repair the skin faster, help promote healing. And this can be rubbed on in a very sparing amount to the hands and the feet and it will reduce the redness, the irritation, and pain associated with the side effect. Also, if patients are having radiation, they may have burns that occur anywhere on the skin and we do have uh, a cream that they can rub onto the area that again will promote healing, it'll draw more blood flow to the area to decrease the amount of time that it takes to heal from that wound. Female cancers like ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, or breast cancer, many times patients are not able to use hormone therapy after the fact. So we do have vaginal creams that patients can use and insert that will help alleviate some of that dryness and irritation that patients can experience after when they're going through menopausal symptoms. It doesn't help to regrow the tissue, but it will help with soothing the area and helping with more moisture. Also, if women are going through any type of radiation in the lower abdominal area for or reproductive cancers. We do have vaginal creams they can insert that will help alleviate some of the burning that can be associated with the radiation therapy.